This is the DZ under seat storage drawer system for the GMC 2500 HD pickup. This is in a 2020 model year and I believe this works up through the current model year, but you'd want to check with DZ on that. I bought this a few months ago when it first came out and this is clearly a Rev-A product. Um, it's got some good features, but unfortunately there's a whole lot of bad that goes with it. So here's what I experienced. Uh, first, the good. This is a great use of space under the seat. It pretty much maximizes every square inch that you can maximize. It even leaves the factory jack and on the other side the jack tools accessible, which is great. You can even tuck a few extra little items in that gap if you wanted to. Uh, it does have a lock on both sides. The thing slides out from both sides and it even has a way to catch so that it, you can't uh, overextend it from the left or from the right, which is good. It holds a ton of gear. Uh, and it's been actually very useful. Uh, I'm really disappointed though that it's not working uh, very well based on some design issues that I'll, that I'll go into right now. First of all, the thing is super noisy. It's made of sheet metal with a powder coat on it. It slides on plastic uh, rails that slide into aluminum grooves. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's not like it's on ball bearings and it certainly isn't supported on the, on the front or the back. It's just sliding on the bottom, which means it rattles around a lot. The inside does have a plastic tray in the bottom that you can't see here, but I had to use some Lowe's Cobalt brand uh, tool drawer liner on, on both sides just to make the thing a little quieter so the things in it weren't bouncing around. Uh, probably should have had that from the factory, but that wasn't too big of a project. Uh, but the worst part about the whole thing is how noisy it is going down the road. When it's in, uh, if you're hitting any bumpy roads, this thing moves around quite a bit and tap, tap, tap all the way down the road. It's really annoying. It was worse when I first got it because this gap here on the front was almost non-existent. And uh, it was basically touching. You can see that it's worn there. I sent in videos, I called, I emailed, and their response to me was, stick a big screwdriver in there and pry it to bend the metal back out, which obviously doesn't work because it just moves the drawer and the drawer just moves right back. And when I told them this and sent a video of that, they responded with, oh, you need to turn the screwdriver around and bend from the other way, which doesn't make any sense. It's, it was a silly uh, answer to a very real question that has to do with the way these things are designed and built. Ultimately, what I ended up doing was lifting up the seat, pushing down really hard on the top while pushing forward and rebending this angle a little bit. It improved it, uh, but it still bangs around a lot. Uh, same problem is on the other side. Uh, I'll show you when I get around there. Also had an issue up front here with uh, the, 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 these are all rivets. These are now, these two are at least self tappers. The one on the left was a rivet that was loose, making a ton of noise. We replaced it with a self tapper just for, uh, just for speed. The one on the right was missing altogether. There was no rivet in a hole there. So I had to do that. And there's a rivet on the back down here that you can see that's already loose too. So now that little uh, rivet spot is, is dinking around when you go down the road. You know, quickly, I'll go over to the other side. You'll see we have the same issue over here, just slightly different spot. The tolerance between the top of the drawer and the uh, and the frame itself, you know, it's almost touching. And when you go down the road, this is what you hear the whole time in the back seat. Really annoying. Uh, I imagine I could probably bend this back out temporarily, but as soon as somebody sits back on the seat, uh, I think the problem is going to come right back. So, uh, I think it's a Reve product. Uh, who knows if they'll improve it. DZ certainly makes some decent plastic boxes for the front of trailer tongues and things like that. Maybe this should have been made out of ABS. Maybe it should have been screwed together instead of riveted. Maybe the drawer should have been slightly smaller so there's a little more of a gap uh, so that metal on metal wasn't happening going down the road. Uh, $569 retail. Uh, certainly, certainly not worth that. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed that they didn't uh, at least offer to send me out a different one knowing that these things were made this way. They said this is a known issue. That's, I think, probably why they quickly recommended I jam a screwdriver in there and bend it out. Um, I will not buy another one of these. I don't think I might just go back to the carpet tray underneath, which is a horrible storage solution, but you can't have this much noise going down the road. So I don't recommend this. 
uh, and I don't recommend that you get one either.